So here, so here, so here is a really little book. I mean, literally, it's little. Look how little this is. Look how thin it is. Look at that. It's like a little flyer. Um, I used to have a friend in college, and he came over one day, and he saw me studying from this book, and he goes, that's your book? And I said, yeah, this is my book, man. And I, it's just so small. It's like a little, like, it's almost like a flyer. The book is Elements of Poinsett Topology by John D. Baum. And I have read this entire book. Now, that might not be saying a lot, you know, despite the size, but let me tell you, there is a lot of hardcore knowledge in this little book. This is a book for beginners in topology. Now, it's not a perfect book, uh, but it's certainly very, very well written. Let's take a look further inside this awesome book. The inside cover, Elements of Point Set Topology, John D. Baum, Dover Publications. So what that means is, it's a reprint of an old book that's out of print, so you can get it really inexpensively like I did. My copy looks old, right? Look at that. It's been worn and used. That's because I, I read it. <laughs> I read it a lot. Let's take a look at the table of contents. So this is the table of contents. Here he starts with preliminaries, and then here he goes into topological spaces, and this is where I actually got stuck, right here. Chapter 1, the very first part. Uh, neighborhood systems and topologies. I remember spending days uh, reading that, literally days. I would read it. I'm like, I don't get this. What's wrong with me? And I would just put it away and I would pick it up the next day and try to read it again. And I still didn't get it. It took me days to understand that definition. But once I got past that, the rest of it was okay. I understood everything else in the book. Nothing was as difficult in the entire book for me except that, that little definition. The worst part about that is that it's a non-standard approach to topology. So if you're trying to look for alternate explanations, um, you won't be able to find them. Uh, th there's just not as many, right? Most books start with the open set definition. This book starts with the neighborhood system definition. But the rest of the book I thought was amazing. Let me turn the page. Some more topics there. And he finishes with metric spaces. Really good treatment of metric spaces, by the way. I felt like I really learned metric spaces and that helped me for years. Uh, really, really amazing book. The book reads quite well. As I mentioned before, I have read this entire book, and I have done probably almost all of the exercises in this book at some point in my life. Um, I really enjoyed topology. I used this for uh, an undergrad course in topology, and uh, it went really, really well. Um, and I thought this book was one of the reasons that it went so well. Also, my teacher was awesome, but uh, I, I definitely think this book helped. If you compare this in difficulty to like the famous book by Monkreis, this is so much easier to read uh, than the Monkreys book. I mean, uh, way, way easier to read than something like Monkreys. So this is a really good book for beginners. And then here you see some exercises. They're not too bad. Let me talk more about sets here. Let me turn the page. Let me show you something. This is really cool. Watch this. Look at that. Look at all those exercises. Boom. Talk about set theory insanity, right? I mean... You get really good at math if you prove all of those. So you get plenty of exercises in this book. There it is. There is the definition that plagued my life <laughs> for a couple days at least. Uh, for some reason, you know, when I when I took topology, which was my last semester as an undergrad, I could not understand this definition. I, I just maybe it was all of the subscripts or just the notation. Um, I just couldn't get it. You know, now when I read it, I'm like, okay, yeah, okay, that makes sense. But at the time, you know. It was so much harder. Just a really, really difficult sticking point for me uh, when I was studying topology. So here's the theorem. And so basically, this is the actual definition of a topology in other books, right? This is the open set definition, but this book um, states it as a theorem. So that's what uh, made it harder for me, right? That, that unusual start. So I usually try to you know, go on the internet, you know, go on Wikipedia, look at other books. Because, you know, math is hard, and a lot of times when you're learning math, um, you need more than one explanation. So because of that difference, that's, that's what gave me a hard time. But after this, uh, you know, after I got through that uh, amazing book, uh, the clarity is just amazing. This book also has tons of exercises in it that you can use to, you know, strengthen your skills. One of the big downsides of this book, which is a common one for most topology books, is that it doesn't have answers in the back of the book. So most topology books don't. Now, uh, there is a book that does have answers. It's called, uh, it's Topology by, by Gamelin and Green. That book has full solutions, or mostly full solutions, to the proofs uh, in the back of the book. However, that book is harder to read than this one. This is an easier book to read. So that, that is still a big winning point in my view for this book, is the readability. 
There it is. There is the lemma of Zorn. Max Zorn. Yeah, this is a, a famous lemma. It's called Zorn's Lemma if you've never heard of it. And it's probably the most famous lemma uh, in all of mathematics. So I had a teacher that actually knew Max Zorn. That's right. This is a true story. He knew Max Zorn. And he said that, you know, when Max Zorn was really, really old, you know, they would have the, the talks at the, at the university. And he would get up, you know, he'd get up out of his chair really slowly and raise his hand. And he would ask, like, some super deep question. I mean, even in his old age, even if it was, like, a topic that he wasn't like prolific in, like even, even if it was like some other research area that he wasn't directly involved in. He always had like some meaningful thing to say, some, some deep comment. Uh, really, really smart guy. So Max Zorn passed away, and so did my teacher that knew him, but uh, kind, of a, kind of a fun story. Overall, this is an amazing book. It's a little book. I mean, it's just really small. And I, I think it's a great book for beginners. If you're trying to learn topology, I would recommend Get this book. It's really inexpensive. It's a Dover book. That means you can get it new really inexpensively. Uh, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. And also check out um, Topology Without Tears. That's a free book on the internet. Just Google Topology Without Tears. And that is a super beginner-friendly book that is completely free. And that one starts with the open set definition of topology. And then this is a good complement to that. So I think those two, this together with Topology Without Tears, is, is pretty good. And if you have, if you want more recommendations, just leave a comment. I, mean, I can give you five more books. I mean, there's so many good, there's so many good books out there. But this is the one I use for my class. And again, I was really happy with, with the readability of this book. The only downside for me was the whole thing with the neighborhood systems, you know. But once I got past that, um, I felt like this was like just like an awesome little book. Um, again, it's the one by John D. Baum, Elements of point set topology. Make sure to you know like, share, and yeah, subscribe as well. Good luck and take care.